What's good, YouTube? So, I got a battle here against Leon. He has a few hex stuff. Um, not even gonna lie. And basically, basically, he said, hey, let's do a match with one Uber each. So, he's gonna choose a Rush Ram, and I'm gonna choose Kyogre for my Uber. And I base my team around Kyogre. And he is basing his team around Sand, I guess. I don't know. So, I'm gonna lead off with Bronze Zone. He's gonna lead off with a Paladon. Not favorable matchup. Well, it kinda is because he can't really Earthquake me, which is. The Paladon's best move against me, so we're both going to take this time to set up our Stealth Rocks. And he is going to go for the Fire Fane. But what he does not realize is I am running a Reflect Light Screen, dual, uh, obviously Dual Screen Support Bronze Zone. Then I'm going to bring in my Kyogre just to change out the weather for here. Um, make it a little bit adventurous towards my favor, as I have a lot of stuff that requires the rain to not be so fragile and he is going to bring in the hydragon predicting the surf very good i have if i had just gone for the ice beam though this would have been a dead hydragon but at least i would have been able to go for another ice beam and ko it so now that hydragon's in i take the time to go into my tentacruel he is going to miss the dragon tail which is really really great for me really fantastic and here's a uh, spoiler he does have a couple hack pokemon like this Hydreigon that has Mold Breaker, a Porygon Z that has Illusion, and like the Hippowdon just withstands way too many, too much stuff to not be hacked. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna Dragon Heal me out, and uh, it's gonna bring in my Lucario, and I go for the Sword Stance, and of course my opponent's gonna get a crit, which means my survivability is nothing. So I go for this close combat, and basically. I'm going to take a life orb damage, and there's not really much I can do about this. So he's going to bring in what I think is a hack source. I'm going to go for the extreme speed, but in actuality, it's that hacked Porygon that I told you guys about. It is that uh, Porygon Z that has an illusion ability instead. I get, I'm not really sure how he obtained these Pokemon, if he gen them that way, or if he obtained them from friends. I'm not really sure, but... Uh, as you can see, most of them don't pose a problem to me, except for that Hippaldon that is annoyingly, like, way too bulky and does way too much damage to not be hacked, but, yeah, so, he's gonna bring in Porygon Z, go for the Charge Beam, I go for the Scald, here, for whatever reason, I'm gonna switch out, I'm not really sure why, because I, I guess maybe I was switching out, because I wanted to keep my Rapid Sprinter since he had Hippaldon still, and, basically... I was a little bit afraid of what would happen. So now he goes for the Trick Room, uh, which is actually going to make my Brown Zone faster, which is great because that means I can get up a full, I I can get up a free screen. So I put up the Light Screen, which is going to start uh, hindering him on the special side, and it makes it really really nice for my Pokemon. And yeah, so slowly this uh that. Slowly, the Porygon Z would die to burn, but he's going to switch out. As I believe, I just go for the Gyro Ball, which is not going to do crap to Rush Ram because Rush Ram resists it, and I'm guessing this Rush Ram's not that all that fast. So now I bring in my Latias, who is going to take a Blue Flare insanely well. I mean, look at that. But I get the burn, of course. Of course, because Hax has been screwing me lately. I don't know what I did to make the hack scout so mad, but apparently I did something. Because in a lot of my recent battles, I just keep... I, there's like hacks against me. So he is going to go for Dragon Gym Boosted Draco Meteor, but with Calm Mind and Light Screen. That is not going to do anything. Even even though it is Dragon Gym Boosted. Uh, so right here, he is going to withdraw and brain in his Exorus to hit me on the physical side. And I... I do believe I go for the recover. Yeah, I go for the recover so that I can uh, heal up because I had predicted him to either stay in or switch out. And it, so I knew that I was going to have a free recover either way. And now I am going to go for this Dragon Pulse to just KO this Hydreigon. And, or not Hydreigon, Haxorus. Blah, too many H's for dragons. But ha I KO Haxorus with the Dragon Pulse and that is going to be very very bueno for me now he's gonna bring in rush ram and that stealth rocks is just gonna do a lot to him enough to where a dragon pulse is easily 
easily going to KO him. I mean, I'm at plus one special attack, so yeah, pretty deadly. And uh, I do believe he brings in Hippaldon now to get up the sand again, and I'm not really that worried about the sand. It's all okay. So I go for a Dragon Pulse, and uh, this is why I say this Hippaldon has to be somewhat hacked. Look at how well it takes that Dragon Pulse. There is nothing that takes Dragon Pulse from Elatius that well, unless it's a dedicated special wall. So, yeah, this Abaldon has been in previous battles against me, and I've always kind of had a hunch it was. And it turns out it probably is. So he goes for the Earthquake. I have absolutely no reason why he didn't just go for the Ice Fade. Maybe he predicted me switching out, but that's not going to be the case. So now I'm going to switch out, because I want to save Latias for later, just in the event I might need it. So I switch into Bronze Zone, and he is going to switch out into his Porygon Z, which pretty much, I mean, Porygon Z can't do anything. I'm going to go for the Reflect just to get up that defense on whatever Hippaldon wants to try and attack. And this Porygon Z does, in fact, die to the Burn, which is fabulous. It dies both to the Burn and the Sandstorm, so that's great. And now he's going to bring in a Hippaldon. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch out and go into my Kyogre just to end the match. And that is going to be all pretty much. I just go for a Surf on him. He goes for the Ice Fane. And I just go for the Surf to KO that I pound on. And that's going to be all. So comment, like, and sub if you enjoyed my content. And uh, yeah, see you next time.